All right, guys, so I want to do a quick recap of the day and then finish off with a little bit of a misconception sports betting. I want to show you something. So first question people ask it, how'd our team play go today? Uh, we had the New Jersey Devils, jumped out to a 2-0 lead early on in that game, end of the first period, and then just absolutely shit the bed, ended up losing that one. Um, it went late in the game, 2-2, but uh, ended up getting a loss there. And also, our four-unit play in consensus group was the New Jersey Devils, okay? Um, I think everyone across the board agreed the Devils were a good play. Minus 110 when we got it. That line closed at minus 140. Um, so we got some closing line value, but didn't matter. We lost the game. So very disappointed because not only do we have our two-unit play loss in Masterclass, but a four-unit loss in consensus group. And that wasn't it. Okay, that wasn't it. There was more. Um, at Sacramento today, half unit play, 89% to win. They go on a 14-1 run against them at the end of the game, so I ended up losing that one. And also a full unit play on Portland. Yes, the team that lost by 60 points today. I had Portland. They lost by 60 points, okay? So at the end of the day, guys, look, I come out here and I talk about the good and the bad and everything in between. This is not good. This is not in between. This is bad, okay? So masterclass overall, we lost four and a half units today. So four and a half units. Um, we were on a nice run and everything we've done over the last seven days has pretty much evaporated over the last couple of days. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, look, I come out and I tell people, this is about the long term. Okay. I can't say it any more than I do is why we practice bankroll management because it's an impossibility for me to win every single day. Now I have won four years in a row and I know it's not what people want to hear when we have a losing day, but it's what you need to hear when we have a losing day, because this is why I tell people practice bankroll management, focus long term, because if you're not doing that. You're going to be pressing tomorrow. You're going to be chasing your losses. And I'm telling you right now, the people that do that, guys, end up eventually blowing up their bankroll. Okay? It might not be on this one. It might not be on the next day on turn. But eventually, if you're doing things that way, you will blow up your bankroll. The people who just sit back and understand that we're going to have winning days, losing days, winning weeks, losing weeks, winning months, and even losing months. Yes. If you understand that and you prepare yourself mentally for it, I've won four years in a row, okay? There is no reason to think that we're not gonna have another winning year this year, okay? We started off this year like gangbusters, like came out of the gates absolutely insane. Masterclass is up 19 units. Consensus Group up 29 units. Since then, we've had a downturn, no doubt about it. But at the end of the day, guys, we know where we're gonna end up in the long term. So I urge people to practice bankroll management. Today was a shitty day top to bottom. There was not a whole lot that went our way. Oh, yeah. Our free pick today, how about that? I haven't even talked about our free pick. Our free pick today, um, Houston. So we had a one nothing lead. Uh, Houston somehow managed to go one for 12 with runners on base. Um, and you can do about that. It is what it is, okay? Um, lost that one. I will be back with another free pick for you guys, but I wanna share something. It's a common misconception that people have. All right, so I've come out and I've talked about my unit size is $25,500 per game. And people are saying, well, you're in Canada, you use Pinnacle, and they don't limit anyone. So like, why do you always talk about having trouble getting money down on games? And it's not that Pinnacle limits you. It's that Pinnacle will continue to move the line every time you bet it. And every time you bet it, it moves it more and more and more out of the value range where you want to be. So in today's game, I was able to get down um, at minus 115. I gave it out at minus 110. Okay, I got down at minus 115. I then go over to Pinnacle, which is now sitting at minus 120. Now, I've given a promise to people in Masterclass that I will give them an hour. Today, it was actually more than that. I gave, I think, three hours before I put my plays in today. But I tell people, look, I'm not gonna go out there and move the lines. I will let you bet your stuff, but I'm gonna show you like a real life example. Okay, so here's my first bet at Pinnacle at 2 p.m. Now you might ask why this weird number here? Why do I bet $16,250.28? Because that is the absolute maximum amount that Pinnacle would let me bet on that game. So I bet that game and Pinnacle will not limit you. You guys are correct, they will not limit you, but they move the line. Every time you bet, and specifically every time I bet this, they'll move the line. So what do they do? They moved it up to minus 124. Now I thought this game should be minus 160 and so we still have a good amount of value on here. So I come out again, 
I bet it at $16,791, the absolute maximum that I can bet on Pinnacle before they move the line again. What do they do? Boom, they move the line again. Only this time, they move it up to minus 140. So I had to look at some other options, some other books to try to get down. Um, I was not able to get down exactly the amount that I want to get down because for me, today was a full three unit play. I've talked about in consensus group, master class, I don't go over three units no matter what, okay? I've said this in consensus group that if consensus group comes out with a five unit play, I bet it for half the amount plus master class, but I never go over three units, okay? I'm never over three units. I've talked about that many, many times, but this is a misconception that people have about Pinnacle that just because you can bet a Pinnacle means you can bet any amount you want. Well, I can. I can bet any amount I want, but every single time I bet it, they move the line. And eventually, they move the line to minus 140, which is where the line closed, um, give or take, I don't know, minus 142, something like that. But anyways, um, you can bet whatever you want, but you're going to get a worse line every time, um, depending on if they're moving the line when you're betting. When I bet, they move the line every single time. It doesn't matter. I can bet $1,000 on a game, they're going to move the line. It doesn't matter, okay? But most of the time, I'm max betting whatever I can, and they're moving the line, moving the line, moving the line. I'll show you one more example quickly. So here's one more example. Um, Portland, 60-point losers, my God. I, but just another example, okay? This is the maximum amount that I could bet, all right? I bet it. They move the line to minus 110, no big deal, okay? Max bet it again. I'm fine paying that juice, that's okay. Um, then they move the line to minus, or plus 13, minus 110. Well, I lost a full point of value, so now I have to look at other options. I have to go to other books and try to find 14 at a good price, etc., etc. I was able to get down a full unit on this game, unlucky for me, but I was able to get down a full unit on this game. But it's a constant struggle, and I know that there's a major misconception out there. People say, well, look, you're a pinnacle bender, so obviously you can bet whatever amount you want. That's not true. It's not true, okay? I can bet, but every time I bet, they move the line. And as soon as they keep moving the line, normally I get down one or two bets at a reasonable number, and then they just go overkill and move the, like in this case, moving at a full point and then putting it at minus 110. So, you know, I have to explore other options, but that's the reality of professional sports betting, okay? This is the challenges. When you have larger unit sizes, the challenges you deal with. Um, anyways, final quick recap of everything I went over. So losing day in masterclass, down four and a half units. Definitely not excited about that. Um, it would have been a it would have been a nice day. I would have been happy and smiling today if um, the Devils won. Would have put a lot of money in my pocket. Would have put a lot of money in a lot of people's pockets. But they blew a two nothing lead, and that's life. That's hockey. That's sports betting. It is what it is. Okay. Um, I continue to urge people to practice bankroll management. I've only ever shown people winning years. Okay. Over the long term, I've only showing people winning years. We've won four straight winning years in a row. And I'm not talking about small wins. I'm talking about significant wins over that time, okay? So for the people who wanna practice bankroll management, do things the right way, it's the same message that I've been telling people for five and a half, six years on social media. Practice bankroll management, don't chase your losses, think long-term and good things will happen. All right, guys, I wish you the best of luck. Sorry about today's free pick. Sorry to everyone in Masterclass Consensus Group. It just was not a good day. Um, I come out here good, bad, indifferent, and I talk about it, guys, and this is the reality. This is the journey of sports betting, okay? It is not all sunshine and roses. Um, we have our days, as Billy Walters would say, where it's just the feathers.